get your dump, just climb up here. Seriously. Okay, so once I get down, it's boring. gonna be even crazier and you see that yeah that is something called some, that's something that's built inside we go we're going I'm not going and touching anything native people used to live in places like this so they had to get a mind and they built all this and, there, and there's the fire where they would that, get the animal they hunted and put it on the wood. Like, see this leaf? See these leaves? That, yeah, these would be like the meat. And this piece, and these pieces of wood would be where they, where they cook it. And right there, that's monitor. So, yeah, people found these and then they upgraded it. Because... This thing looks like it was going to fall apart. Seriously. I'm going. It looks like it's going to fall apart. So. And it's really not good that there's garbage everywhere. Really ain't good. More garbage. We got to stop garbage. But that's not the video we're talking about right now. We're talking about forests. And those. Yeah, those are fern. And how to identify poison ivy. This is how you identify poison ivy. So, it, so it's green. It has four leaves, and yeah, poison ivy. See ya. Like for part two. So, this is part two of the forest. Now, where are we? Well, yeah, we're in a prairie. And this video has to finish fast, or else the coyote's just gonna jump out. Seriously, there's coyotes in this area. That's terrible. And so these are prairie animals. Bison, pronghorn, coyotes, prairie chickens. They're just way too much. So I can't, so the prairie falcon? Yeah, that's the last one I was gonna say. So, so, so this prairie, it's home to a lot of animals. Turtles, ticks, yeah, a lot of animals. And that house, might seem like an ordinary birdhouse to you, but no, it's actually a pine, a, a, a purple martin house. So, so right now, so right now when it gets fall, so they'll go down south all the way to the Amazon, and they raise their chicks here and stuff. They, they, but they're not actually purple; they're black. But when light phases on them, they'll turn. Flowers and those white flowers. They're technically going to go on every single flower. This is a beautiful meadow. Lots of bees here. So right now, this bee is the common honeybee. And then, and then there's also the bumblebee. Now there's there isn't one here right now, but I did see one. Bumblebees and. Also, there's are other pollinators, such as butterflies, moths, wasps, many pollinators, even fruit flies. They go, they go like this, suck the nectar, and then, and then see. So, so pretend this is pretend this is a little bee. He goes in, sucks the nectar. He gets pollen on him, and then he flies, flies to the next flower, and then the pollen falls off right on that flower. And then, so right now we're near a river. 
and hopefully the phone does not drop in or I don't drop in or this guy so this is not a, gar a garden snail garden snails are the ones that have the swirly uh, swirly shell but this one is a forest snail I never seen one before this one is the first time now this guy is like so adorable he's probably only like a baby but I mean, but I wasn't really trying to find a, gar a forest snail he just got on my path Okay, buddy, be free. Hang on, hang on, there, be free. Now, now, it's water time. No, I am not gonna jump in. I am not gonna jump in. So, you see these water striders? These little bugs on the water. Those little bugs right there on the bottom. Yeah, they can, they can, they can literally just slide on the water so easily. You know how? Because they use what basketless lizards use. So they, so they have like little bubbles here, but they go so fast that the bubbles don't even, that, but the bubbles don't even pop. They don't even pop in time to get to let them sink. Also, they, uh, they also are very light, so they, so they, so they can just go float on top of the water. And there's also many other ant pond animals here. Beavers, so they go, they can cut down 200 trees in just a year. 200 trees in just a year. And there's also muskrats. So muskrats are just animals. They're, they're, they, yes, they are in the rodent family. And they have a black tail. They just swim around in the swamps of water. And yeah. They are pretty cool creatures. And they have like iron teeth. They're, all rodents' teeth are made out of iron, man. And, it, and, and, and beavers cut down trees. And also, because if they don't cut down trees and don't uh, make their teeth sh like smaller, they, they, in just four months, beaver teeth can be like that. That would be a problem because you can't walk. Imagine I had teeth like that. Crazy. Now, this might be the end of the video. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, another forest video. Right there. Now, that's a squirrel. A red squirrel. Eating a red oak, I think. And you see that hole in this tree? Oh, uh, that's a woodpecker. And there are many alien invaders. There's an Asian longhorn beetle. Yeah, we already took care of that one. Gone. But the emerald ash borer, nah, that's the one we're dealing with. They they find ash trees like that one and they kill it by taking all of it, the roots on his inside, taking all the things on his inside and biting them as its own food. In Asia, the trees have, have learned to dealt with it. But here in North America, nah, they haven't. And right, and that hole is from a woodpecker. So they, so they dig into the trees, like, and there's a safe, like, foamy bone right here, protecting the skull, protecting and protecting the brain from vibrating. So they're like, and when, and when they're done uh, with that tree, they get their tongue that wraps around their skull. It's that long, and then it comes from their mouth, and and, and then there's a little sticky barb that gets the insects. And then, yeah, perfect. And then, down here. River! So what animal can be here, Yusuf? Here are the animals. There are mosquitoes, which are really itching. Right now, there's a mosquito. There was a mosquito. And there's also dragonflies who deal with the mosquitoes. They literally come, the mosquitoes don't see you, and then, whoop, just like this bear paw. that we'll talk about in the next video. So, there, here is, a, is beavers. Now, I don't see any beavers or any beaver building. Oh my goodness, okay. I think I just found a beaver dam. Still not done built, but until that's built, uh, done, that will turn into a pond and this 
will not be a river anymore. Well, if he does a dam there, or he does a dam, another dam there. Yep, he's starting off in there. This will turn into the pond. And we might return next summer. And beavers are like, have like the strongest jaws of any animal. Even shark, even stronger than great white sharks. See, see, they get that, they get their teeth, their iron orange teeth. They get, they get it, and then they chew, and then they chew. It takes only 20 minutes, and then timber. False. So technically, yeah, beavers have the strongest teeth, and they, and they don't eat this. They don't eat it. They don't eat this. No. They eat this part. The soft, the soft, the soft part. That's what they eat. And there are a lot of bugs here, including mosquitoes. And I don't want to get beaten by mosquitoes anymore. There are lots of ducks and 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 yeah, mosquitoes. And in other places, like say Algonquin Park. The beavers, they make the ponds, and then moose come to live in the ponds. They can swim, yeah. Now this will be the end of the video because I don't want to get eaten by mosquitoes. Different place. See ya. So this is a video about pond. Yeah, there's froggies here. Bullfrogs. And this is the, my best sound of a bullfrog. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So last time I was here, that's a little froggy right there. Hopefully I get to see more. And there are lots of dragonflies here. And not only dragonflies, but you see that you see that big tree over there? Ospreys can live on that. Even great blue herons. And they can just be hunting for fish like right there, there, there. And this, this is good for sunfish. We get our fishing gear and we're like, woo! And those are spider nests. And when they hatch, there are billions that of spiders coming out. <laughs> and raccoons, so they do this. So they find crayfish, they're like this. They go right here, they find the crayfish. They got it, and then they wash their food, and then they eat it, and then and then they run away. And that is a whole lot of animals, a whole lot of animals just living right there, in there. And because there's no mosquitoes here, we can chill out a lot, a whole lot. And there's mallard ducks, Canada goose, so many animals here. This is a beaver pond. Well, maybe not. And. Here there's also muskrats. And good thing that there's no mosquitoes because, because fireflies are just, I mean, not fireflies. What's it called, what's it called? Dragonflies come and they eat the mosquitoes. So that's all the time I have for now. Make sure, like for another part and subscribe if you haven't to. Now, peace. So this is a video about pine forests. And I'm in one right now. Now these pine forests have a whole lot of deer. And deer can be there, there, there. And moose also really like pine forests. And bears, they can't fit through these. Like, they'll just get trapped like this. So they don't go in these pine forests. And, but, they're, but coyotes do go through these pine forests. Not all. So this is like safety from a coyote. And it feels so magical when you're inside one. It really does. So maybe you should try it. But beware spiking needles on the tree. You don't want to get stuck by Or else you'll end up like this. Also, that is not from a spiking needle from this. It is from a cat. Which I will film a video about. And not only this, but in but in Germany, the like fire salamanders 
live in these pine forests in Germany. The dark, the black forest, aka pine forest. This is like a great place to go camping too. And lots of deer here too. And lots of places where you can trip. So, yeah, end of the video. So this is gonna be the last <laughs> part of this forest adventure. See, exit. Oh, now this is gonna be the last part. Now, coyotes, yeah, these coyotes, yeah, there are a lot of coyotes here. And these coyotes, yeah, they are called Eastern coyotes, also known as koi wolves. And these, co and, ki and those ki koi wolves are, are no luck. Cause they travel in packs, just like wolves. They're a coyote, he, they're a coyote and a wolf hybrid, koi wolves. And they travel in packs and they can hunt down moose. Before coyotes were just little small and they look like dogs like this. But now they've grown larger, just like wolves. And not only coyotes, but raccoons. The three main animals, raccoons, coyotes, and deer. Deer are like some places like there. About, the only deer around here are white-tailed deer, no moose. And yes, moose are deer. <coughs> and no white and no white-tailed deer around here. That's one thing. No white-tailed deer. Well, there are white-tailed deer. And pine martens dump tree to tree, following the red squirrels. They just go around the tree. They're like snakes with legs. They literally just they're crazy in the trees. One of the best climbers. And raccoons, they have rotating ankles. That makes them climb on the trees much better and climb head down like so easy. It's like no problem for them. And also, there's also one more animal I need to talk about. And I didn't talk about a lot of it. And that's the white-tailed deer. They, so they, use, they have antlers and then in the fall, the males fight for for love, and then the and then the one who wins gets the female. And that and and in the fall, the, so there's felt felt on it, and 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 that's the little fur. And then they find trees and bushes. They come, they go like this, and then they rub it against the uh, rub it rub it against the tree. And then shiny new antlers. And there's also, and there's also lots of pine martens. And this is the end of the video.